Hello everyone! I am officially back from vacation and today I'm actually going to do a whole Inktober on the same day rather than using editing magic and, you know, combining clips to make it look like I did it all on the same day. So anyway, uh, it is October 21st and it is prompt day 21 for my Inktober and today's prompt is houses. So in theme with Halloween and October and spooky things, I figured I would do a haunted house. So I do have some examples of houses that I want to uh, use to kind of like help me along here since I actually don't really do architecture. I'm not really all that comfortable with it. So uh, with that being said, I guess uh, we should just get started. But before that, procrastinate much, yes. <laughs> um, you'll notice that I don't have my trusty phone here. Uh, I decided maybe for the rest of Inktober, since we only have 10 days left, I'm going to focus less on timing myself for the whole hour and more on trying to actually do the Inktober. Because as soon as I came back from vacation, I found it super, super hard to like get back into the groove, into the routine. My routine was all messed up at the beach, but we'll talk about that in a vlog or something later. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and jump in. Okay, so I'm feeling a little stuck because I kind of made this a lot bigger than I was really aiming for. And also I'm at this point where most of the structure's down. It's not the best house in the world, but I don't know how detailed to get with things. And I, I kind of don't know what to do and it's taking everything I have not to just scrap this right now. Um, so I think this is just going to look really, really basic. Uh, I might look up some drawings of other people's houses just to like give me a, a little push so that I can actually feel motivated to want to finish this. I get so frustrated with things that I don't know how to draw that I just end up not wanting to draw them. <laughs> so I'm going to just take a little mini break here and uh, hopefully I'll jump back into this. So I'm back. I don't really know what I'm going to do to be honest but I'm going to work with it. I'm going to just try something. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I watched um, a mini small video because she did a bunch of houses for Inktober in 2017. And I thought that was really neat looking. And the way she does her houses looks like, I don't, you have to, you have to look. Like, the way she does her houses is just so gorgeous. Uh-oh, my ink is, like, all stuck in this thingy because this isn't for... Oh, boy. My ink is stuck. That's never good. It's stuck in the dropper. <laughs> oh, no. Ah! Uh, so much for trying to reduce, reuse, and recycle glass bottles. So, anyway. I... I'm just going to try my best. <laughs> oh boy, this isn't working. <laughs> I'm using a different ink. I, I switched nibs. Hoping that this would help. So, this is the Speedball ink. And I don't like Speedball because of how they package their ink. Because it's like in this bottle that you have to constantly clean, in my opinion. And that's just no fun. So I, I, I ended up putting the ink into a reusable, like a dropper from, I think it was like hyaluronic acid or something. I forget what this was. But that's been doing me pretty good. 
Okay, so this is definitely a better nib. But I actually ended up getting the clog out of the dropper, so that was cool. So like Minnie, I am not aiming for perfectly straight lines. I'm, uh, in my head, I am aiming for lines that have a little bit of character <laughs> to them. So I'm not using a ruler or anything. I'm just, uh, just inking. Just inking for the love of inking. Okay, maybe the speedball ink isn't so bad, but I really wish they would package it in something different. That's my opinion. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I like this side better than that side, but this side kind of looks neat. So that's what I mean about lines with character. And also it's just good to practice good inking techniques too. You know, trying to study your hand and just have fun with the inking process. You know, let your let your hand slide across the paper. I don't know how I'm going to shade this. I really have no idea how I'm going to do any of this. I think a lot of the details are going to come out once I actually start to color because I have a very hard time, or, or not hard time, but I tend to go overboard with details if I'm left with just a, a pencil. I, I don't even really know where to start as far as details go. It's easy to get lost in details. I forgot how much I loved this nib. This was the nib I always used growing up. I don't know why I didn't pick this up sooner. This is actually a nib that you see a lot of mangaka use. Although I don't know what it's called. I think this is a G pen nib. I don't know. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of hungry, so. I might just ink this and let it dry and then go eat, procrastinate again. I find I procrastinate the most with subjects I don't want to draw, <laughs> even though I know that I will come out a better artist for doing it. But it's just that initial, oh, I have to draw this today. <laughs> And my proportions are way off on this. I definitely know that for a fact. But remember, my Inktober isn't about everything looking exactly perfect. My Inktober was for me to get into the habit of drawing and making art every day. Except the whole beach thing. Of course, I didn't do anything down there. That was hard. Relaxing on the beach. <laughs> See, my, my Nana is a huge beach fiend. She would rather just live on the beach. If you were to give her a tent and tell her to pick a spot anywhere to live on the beach. <laughs> uh, I mean, she wouldn't want to live in a tent, but if given the choice, maybe. And I tell you, she would not stop talking about how much she did not want to come home. She was trying to convince me to stay a couple more days down there. But we were coming home. I wanted to come home. 
because the beach is just I mean I just if if I had like my art stuff down there and I actually had like my my laptop and stuff to actually work down there you know then I wouldn't have had such a problem but and I'm not saying that being down there was a waste of time or anything but I just feel like if I'm not doing something I'm wasting my time if I'm not doing art or if I'm not learning something or exercising or like anything like that then I feel like I'm wasting I'm wasting something so I mean this looks pretty bare bones right now <laughs> this looks like a toddler drew it but uh, this is what we've got so far this is what we're gonna work with so hopefully when we start adding some paint or ink it'll start to come along so uh, yeah we'll figure all that out Okay guys, so it's actually past the due date technically for this Inktober. It is the 22nd. This was supposed to be for the 21st, but I know it's not finished looking and I'm not really proud of it, but it is what it is. It's as done as it's gonna get. And we're just gonna go ahead and I'll put the 21st, why not? Just mark it down there and I will see you guys tomorrow. I am so sorry that my Inktober videos are getting all kind of sporadically uploaded because life is getting in the way. <laughs> so anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow.